Hello traders, welcome to another video about gold. Today is Tuesday, May 30. It's around 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm looking at gold because I'm trying to figure out what's the next move. Is it going to continue to go up? or there's going to be some retracement so let's take a look at about the the possible catalyst that could move gold on the 5th of june we have the federal debt limit which will be discussed by u.s treasury secretary uh, janet yellen on friday and I think that this is not going to be an issue and they are going to raise the debt limit and I don't think it will have any effect in my opinion. But on June 14th, the Fed decision is coming up and now we at 0.25% with a 60% probability and no hike at 40% probability. If they will increase the rate, I don't think this will help gold. On the contrary, it should support the USD. From technical analysis perspective, we have the Fibonacci retracement levels between 17 October low at 1,617 to 1st of May at 2081 the resistance at 1971 and we have three supports at 1903 1849 and 1794 this is the weekly chart and we can see this upside channel and now the prices is at an important trend line and it should probably bounce from here but once it closed below this trend line we should see more downside and we should be extremely cautious and the MACD is also pointing downwards on the weekly this is the weekly chart uh, this is from tradingview.com On the daily analysis uh, chart, we have a similar pattern. And also there is an upside channel, but the MACD is looking, is, is, is looking as if it's going to point upward. So from this level, I expect that we should see some upside. Uh, we have the 20 days moving average this is the Bollinger Band to standard deviation and this orange line is the 20 days moving average at 1988 which, which might offer uh, a cap for any upside potential for now this is another chart for the daily for gold with the moving averages the blue is the 20 days moving average the black is the 100 and the 50 days moving average in yellow and you can see this cross of the 20 days moving average to the 50 days moving average from above this is called a death cross this this could be very bearish for the gold um i don't know we'll uh, we'll uh, find out in few days but because we have a big event next week this this should cap any erratic moves uh, people will be cautious uh, because they they are not 100 percent sure what the fed is going to do now looking at 
from the fundamental perspective and from the news, we had the pandemic, we had the war in Ukraine, we had geopolitical tensions everywhere. We have inflation fears, mounting global debt, rising interest rates, and perhaps U.S. banking crisis, in addition to central banks' huge move into gold. All this have prompted invest investors to reevaluate safe haven assets and gold has been one of the uh, of the beneficiaries of this now moving forward what else could happen that would support gold i don't know anyhow that's it for now and i'll see you again in few days good luck and have good day